The first thing you need to decide when creating a new Google Ads campaign is which campaign objective are you going to use? Now it's more important to get this right than you think. And in this video, I'm gonna talk you through the various options and explain which one you should be using. So I'm in an example Google Ad account. And when I go ahead and click on this new campaign button, new campaign, you will see that the very first thing that comes up is this campaign objective menu. Now, when you select a campaign objective, it's going to affect what you're able to do as you go through the campaign creation process. Some settings are going to be changed and a lot of the defaults are going to be changed, things like bidding strategies, for example. So it's important that you get the right option when you come in here and select your campaign objective. Now, a lot of beginners go with website traffic. That's a campaign that's really optimized to get clicks. It's designed to send people to your website. That's quite an old school way of doing things. When we first started running Google ad campaigns many, many years ago, we were very much focused on clicks, on traffic. Click, 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 click. And as the platform evolved and progressed and improved, we were able to optimize for better things, things that meant more to our business than simply just sending people there. So traffic is not something I'd recommend that most people use. If you want to start there because you don't have conversion tracking set up, that's okay. You can get a bit of experience, get a bit more familiar with the platform, but I'd strongly recommend, even if you're a Google ads beginner, go ahead and get conversion tracking set up so that you can optimize for things that matter more to your business, things like leads, things like purchases. We'll talk more about those in a minute. That's where a lot of beginners start. It's okay, but don't stick around then. If you've been running Google Ads for any period of time at all, you want to be transitioning away from traffic to some of the other options. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, we've got this option down here, create a campaign without a goals guidance. And the idea here is that it's the most open, the most flexible option when it comes to choosing campaign objective. You're led much less than you are with the other options where Google's gonna sort of push you down a path and try and convince you to use certain settings. Now, a lot of experts like to use this option because they like the freedom, the flexibility. If you are not a Google Ads expert, if you're not advanced at this platform, I would certainly recommend you don't go ahead and use this option. Even if you are an expert, is it really worth it? I, I don't think so. We very rarely use it. We tend to use the option that best describes what it is that we're actually after. Then we've got a couple of options that are useful depending on what your business is and what it is that you're looking to advertise. So we've got app promotion. Great if you are promoting an app. If you're not, don't use it. If you are, use it. It's really that simple. Exactly the same applies to this option here, local store visits. If you are advertising a physical location where you want people to come into store, great go ahead and use this option. If you don't meet those criteria, if that's not your business model, don't. It's fairly straightforward with both of those, they sort of fall into the same category. So those are the four campaign objectives that we don't use very much. I'm about to get to the four that we do use a lot more. Before I do that, I wanna quickly mention our done for you Google advertising services. So we can create, manage and optimize your campaigns, take that workload off your hand and help improve your results. If you're interested, you can click on a link in the video description below. That'll take you to a page on our website where you can book in a free call directly with one of my team members. So go ahead and book a call if you're interested. Hopefully we get a chance to work together. Next, we've got two options that are best suited for larger businesses, big brands, and that's brand awareness and reach and product and brand consideration. These are two options that we would look to use for really big brands that aren't necessarily concerned with the direct return on ad spend that they're getting. They just want to make sure that their brand is top of mind and that they are omnipresent to the people in the marketplace, which is usually a really large marketplace. You can think of these almost filling the same sort of role as perhaps old school TV ads would, where the really big brands would spend a huge amount of money on TV ads because they wanted to remain key and center of the conversation within their industry. However, neither of these are good options for most small and medium-sized businesses because it's a good way to spend a lot of money and you will get awareness, you will get reach, but not necessarily those immediate lead sales, et cetera, that you probably need as a small and medium business for this campaign to be profitable, for it to uh, keep running, for you to be able to scale it and do all the things that you want to do with your business. You don't have those massively long time horizons that the big brands do, where they're putting ads in front of people knowing that if it makes them 5% more likely to purchase their product, multiple times over the next decade, then that's successful ad for them. You're probably not in that situation as of most Google advertisers, most small and medium sized businesses. Which brings us on to the two that we use the most that are at the front of the list and for good reason, and that's sales and leads. And I think if you are after sales, if you want people to come through to your website and make a purchase, you should go with sales, very, very simple. If you are after leads, if you're a service-based business, and you want people to come through to your website, inquire, take a look at what you have to offer, um, leads is the best option. Don't try and overthink this. I see a lot of businesses that perhaps are more interested in leads, but they go with sales because they're thinking, I want to generate leads and then convert those into sales. Don't worry about that. The action that people take that you can optimize for from your Google Ads campaigns, that's what you want to go for. So if you can track sales via your website and there's no person-to-person -person contact before they go ahead and purchase, sales. If there is, 
I'd be looking to go with leads. And that's a good rule of thumb for all these campaign objectives, by the way, is if in doubt, if you're confused between a few different options, or should I go with this? Should I go with that? Not sure um, what applies to my business. Just go with the one that best describes what it is that you want. That's going to be most likely the best option for your business. It's very rare nowadays that you can sort of cheat the system or be smarter than the algorithm and work out options that you think will work best for your business that aren't what you're actually looking for. It's also worth noting that you will not be able to change your campaign objective later on. You will have to create a new campaign, just something that might trip a few people up if you're trying to go in and do that with campaigns that are already live. Now you know which campaign objective you should be using in your Google Ad campaigns, but are you using the best possible keyword strategy? In this video, I show you my favorite keyword strategy. It's easy to implement and can really help you improve your results. Go ahead and check it out.